Hey, what's good, my people? Today I'm going to be reacting to Death of YOLO, spoken word by my favorite YouTuber, um, Jefferson Bethke. Um, he does some great, powerful videos, and you know, I pray this video will give some of you guys a message or something, and it will uplift you in some sort of way and strengthen your faith in some sort of way. Um, yeah. But hopefully you guys will get into this video and enjoy it because his spoken words are really good, really powerful in my opinion. Anyways, let go. <clears throat> A Roman cross. Yeah, Jesus died on that. See, I don't care what you believe, just read history. It's a historical fact. So the question we have to ask is, what will you do with this man of misery? Six hours on a piece of wood, it somehow completely changed history. But see, we've pimped Jesus out, we've made a sacrifice foolery, like, oh, I'll just go to church on Easter and make the cross nice jewelry. But see, the cross wasn't a symbol of faith, it was a symbol of death. I mean, imagine if someone had an electric chair hanging around their neck. So the question we have to ask is what was different about the man that day that could take something that kills and turn it into something that saves. See, he was unique because he was innocent. God actually became a man. Now that's different. I'm about to cry. Wait, one sec. Uh, fam, I never cry, but like, the way he put that together, like, wow. That's overwhelming. Something that kills. God, only God could turn something that kills into something that saves. <sighs> and on the cross, he says, I'm not dying because of me. I'm dying because of you. Not just for the sins you have done, but for the ones you will do. And on the mm. cross, God treated Jesus like he was us. Poured out his wrath on the Son so that he might show that he's just. See, and he took our filth and he took our sin and the beauties, when you trust in Jesus, you're included in Him. But first, walk with me what it must have been like that night, when the Son of God looked like He lost the fight. No heartbeat, no breathing, no sign of life. Jesus tasted death, and it didn't feel right. Have you ever let that sink in, that Jesus died? No, really, Jesus actually died. Three days in the tomb, lifeless laid his remains. Like the king had given up his crown, like he'd given up his reins. But all of a sudden comes Sunday, something started to change. From the grave you heard a thump, and blood started pumping in his veins. Heart beat and blood pulsing, instantly Satan felt his power break because the Son of God was dead. Now the Son of God is awake. And every breath that he took was another punch to Satan's face, showing we are not under our sin, but we are under grace. So rejoice with me, because when he went to the grave, you did too. And when he rose from the grave, your life became new. He says, my job is finished, let your new life begin. You can actually have freedom. Stop wallowing in your sin. See, the chains have been broken, the stone's been rolled away. God doesn't love a future you. He actually loves you today. Amen. So you're clean, you're spotless. The curse has been squashed. That's all baptism is, is just showing you've been washed. So rejoice with me because we are not awaiting the verdict. He's already said not guilty and the resurrection proves he assured it. Because our whole life we feasted on sin and we couldn't pay the tab, Jesus walks over to our bill and says, I'll take care of that. So stop trying to pay your own debt. In fact, God doesn't even expect it. Because the cross shows payment given, resurrection shows payment accepted. And instantly we were perfectly spotless when we were spiritual whores. Because when he walked out of the grave, he left our sin on the floor. And he turned around and looked at where his body lay and says, huh, sin? See, that's where you're gonna stay. So church, walk in freedom because you are free. The resurrection is just a stamp saying it's a guarantee. A royal decree proclaiming we're children of the king. So even when your mouth can't, let your life always sing. Powerful, powerful. I felt like I really needed that, y'all. <clears throat> so what do you guys have to say about this video? What do you think? What's your belief? What do you follow? 
do you follow Jesus or do you believe God cannot have a son do you believe that God can't manifest his spirit into the flesh and die for his creation but let me tell you something if you truly love something you will be willing to humble yourself come down from your throne get put your pride aside and die for it a lot of the times that will be a mother for her child or a father for his daughter or his son when their son is in danger and that's what god did for us in my opinion that's what i believe like for instance we are all children of god we are all his creation we are god's we are all god's lost sons and daughters until jesus came and saved us like ah oh. but this is the truth to me this is definitely the truth but anyways i'd like to thank you guys for watching um may god bless every single one of you may all your problems one day cease to exist and yeah amen thanks for watching